meet you where you been. I could show you incredible things. Magic, madness, heaven, sin. Saw you there and I thought, oh my god, look at that face. You look like my next mistake. Love's a game, wanna play. New money, suit and tie. I can read you like a magazine. Ain't it funny? Rumors lie. And I know you heard about me. So today I am doing a Taylor Swift makeup tutorial based on the video Blank Space. I am totally obsessed with this. Um, I love how she's like a killer um and i just i loved her makeup this is one of the looks um that <laughs> sorry <laughs> this is one of the looks that she had um i'm going to hopefully do the other one don't hold me to it um but yeah this one is the more like the brown colored one she has one where she's wearing like a lot of like it's gray but this one I absolutely fell in love with. This is the one where she's like on the bed, you know, and she has the thing on her face and yeah. So I really hope you guys enjoy this makeup. If you want to know how to get it, please keep on watching. So I've already done my face and my eyebrows and everything and I'm going to start on with the eyes. I'm taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion and just applying this to my lids and also the under lash line. Taking a piece of tape, where this is going to help us get that crisp edge that she has, and first put on your skin, rub it a few times, and that'll make it less sticky and it won't um, take off your makeup that you already applied on your face. Now I'm going to be taking my Color Tattoo 24 Hour um, eyeshadow in the leather edition and I'm going to be taking the creamy beige and applying that to my lid and up to my crease and a little bit farther out as well and also to my bottom lash line. Taking Buck from the Naked Original palette, I'm going to be applying this to my crease and also anything I apply into my crease I also do to my bottom lash line because I'm not going to just keep repeating myself like blah 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 and the bottom lash line. So just to let you know that's what I'm going to be doing. Now I'm going to be taking Hustle and applying that into my crease and like I said to my bottom lash line. Now I'm going to be taking Dark Horse and I'm only going to put that closer to the outer corner of my my lid or my crease um, in my lid area just to darken it up. Now I'm going to be taking Papilla from my uh, Kat Von D, I believe it's the Butterfly Effect palette and just that is my very dark color for the bottom of my, my crease. Now I'm going to be taking Sidecar and applying that to my lid. Then I'm going to be going back into Buck and Dark Horse and applying that back into my crease just because that um, color sidecar kind of took away from that color, from the crease. Taking off that tape, I'm going to be blending everything together on my lower lash line um, and then keeping that crisp edge on um, closer to the top of my lid. Taking my Kat Von D ink liner, um, and it's the felt tip one, and I'm going to be line doing Taylor's signature cat eye, but I'm elongating it a little bit longer than normal because in the video she had more dramatic wing than she normally does in like photos that you would see of her. Taking the color Virgin from my Naked Originals palette, again I'm going to put that into my inner corner. Now I'm going to be taking the CoverGirl Liquid Line Blast and applying it into my upper and lower water line and, and putting it also along my lash line as well. For my lashes, I first start off putting the telescopic shocking extensions to add some length to my lids and then I'm taking the bold lacquer and putting that over top because that's going to add thickness as long and also length so I don't have to add any false lashes. It makes it look like I have some and I really love this eyeshadow or I, this mascara. For my lips, I'm first going to be lining it with a actual red line, uh, lip liner and it's the Rimmel Exaggerate in the color Red Diva and in this, uh, if you see Taylor in pictures, you see she has this bright bold red lip 
but in the, um, the video, her lips are a little more deep red colored and they have an ombre. So the next color I will be taking is a from uh, the uh, f from Drew Barrymore's flower makeup line and it's a sheer lip tint and it doesn't have the name on it but it's just like a, um, a deeper red. Now I'm going to take an Ulta color in this one. It's, an, it's their lip pencil and this one is in Daredevil and I'm putting that only on the outer corners just to give it that ombre effect that she had in her video. For my hair, um, this is first day hair and I just let it dry naturally and I'm going to be applying my heat protectant and brushing out my hair. And then what I, how I curl it is I just curled random pieces in loose curls with my straightener just because hers were big but they weren't tight. So what I'm doing is I'm just, and I'm just curling pretty much the front hair, part of my hair because the back seemed pretty straight when she would, you would see like her running. And so I just kind of left that alone because I had natural wave in it. And yeah, and I do it to the other side. So for my bangs, what I did is I just, um, I was going to straighten them and just kind of um, straighten them the way that she had them, but that didn't really work, so and I ended up curling them uh, just to give it that wave and brush it out and then just keep curling and then taking my ends and curling those individually from the rest of the bangs just to give it that shape. And then I teased my hair to give it that messy volume, and that's how I did my hair. enjoyed this tutorial if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and also let me know down below what you would like to see next all right guys bye I really just wanted to play with the knife. Thank you, Taylor.